Wonderful, so great to have you. And a couple of people are saying hi to you. I have Hafiz Abdulaziz from beautiful Kuala Lumpur saying hi. I have Aja Aslam from San Francisco, and I have Kai Girlish from Germany. So we have uh, KL San Francisco. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Katindi Sibi. Hello, good to see you, Katindi. Uh, she's uh, dialing or calling in from Kenya, Africa. So today, uh, mm -hmm. We have a worldwide audience. I think I guess we're, we're not covering Antarctica, but uh, uh, next time perhaps we'll find uh, some some penguins or someone to talk to us from there. <laughs> so uh, I want to pose. Uh, so my my first question to you is: I would really like the audience to get to know you as a writer mm -hmm. and as a thinker. So uh, you actually wrote a piece titled. <laughs> being woman and middle class <laughs> in Singapore. Uh, well, I you know I go everywhere with my questions, but uh, well, uh, so uh, to what extent uh, do you believe your experience in Singapore and more specifically, uh, how traditional Confucian values permeate uh, through your work or somehow influence it? Mm, no, oh, wow. You, you really did deep, deep, Rom. I have to say, I forgot that I wrote that. Uh, <laughs> so it, it was an interesting um, period of time in my work, because at that point in time, I was studying the culture of intimacy in Singapore. Uh, and at that point, uh, we were going through a, a period where um, Singapore was already sort of modernized, but we had, I think, been culturally still quite traditional and we were slowly evolving beyond the traditional scripts of intimacy. And intimacy is one of those really interesting things because it's deeply personal, but because you actually use your scripts of intimacy to couple um, and then to start families, to actually build you know, the blocks of society, for example. Um, the government was very interested in understanding you know, why are divorce rates going up? Um, how are people coupling because you're not doing it in the traditional way anymore? So that study was really about understanding the evolving script of intimacy and how people are actually shifting relationships beyond um, traditional sort of, um, you know, man and a woman getting married and then starting a family. Uh, it's very interesting because that actually evolved into another piece of work where um, I was working with sex workers. Uh, so... Um, it was a very interesting period of time in my life because I was dealing with things that are traditionally internal, um, kept behind closed doors, and I was able to speak to people about it. Uh, and one of the things that came up for me, I was very obsessed with studying Craigslist ads at that time. Um, so this is, gosh, about 15, 18 years ago now that Craigslist was widely used. Um, and you know, I was fascinated with the personals because, you know, people were seeking partners in the personals. And most of the time when you read through the personals and, and you know, I was going through them thematically, they had this uh, thread where it was, um, this is my background and these are the, you know, the traumas that I've been through. So I'm looking for a partner who is um, similarly sort of, um, broken and then healed like me. So it was a very interesting sort of um, evolution. And, and that particular study led me to realize, and a lot of the evolution in my thinking now um, has shifted more towards a Taoist perspective, where with Confucianism, it tends to have a deeply structural um, you know, hierarchical type of approach where, you, you know, you do believe that there is um, some kind of a leader structure that you follow, somebody takes care of somebody else. Um, and I'm not saying that that's not true, but the reality is often more um, dynamic and complex. And then I realized that um, Taoism is actually a much more applicable and complex, coherent type of Asian philosophy to follow because um, it, it takes into account natural flows and it's, it, it's the common saying that water always finds its level. So it's not that people weren't getting together, they were just getting together differently because the times had called for different, different means of coupling. The script had shifted.